Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to dive deep into one of Excel's most powerful functions that is the let function. The let function can simplify your formulas and make your separate sheets more efficient and readable. Whether you are a beginner or an Excel pro, it's a must know Excel function. In this video, we will start by understanding what the let function is and how it works. Then we will explore several real world scenarios where it can be a game changer. Throughout this tutorial, I will be using Excel 365. If you are using a different version, don't worry. The let function is available on most recent versions of Microsoft Excel. And also, I am assuming that you have a basic understanding of Excel formulas and functions. Let us start this video by understanding the syntax of the let function. The syntax of the let function is simple. You define a variable, assign a value to it, and use a calculation. So let me explain this. I will use the let function. I will define a variable named a, assign it a value of 5, comma, I will declare another variable named b, assign it a value of 3, comma, then add the calculation. I will simply add the two numbers a plus b, close parenthesis, hit enter, this returns 8. Now you may ask why you need to use the let function when you can simply sum the two values directly, 5 plus 3 equal to 8. Isn't it? It's a logical question. The importance of the let function lies in the fact that it can make your formulas easily comprehensible, easily manageable, and also improve the performance of workbook. By defining variables and using them consistently, you reduce the risk of making errors when entering and copying formulas. This minimizes the chances of data entry mistakes and formula inconsistencies. The let function enables dynamic calculations. You can create formulas that automatically adapt to changing inputs or conditions, making your separate sheet more versatile and responsive. Let us start with a simple example. Suppose you have this array of data, which contains the employee ID, employee name, department, salary, and joining date. You want to filter employees who are from the marketing department. What you will do here is you will use the filter function. Your array will be this. For include, you will write department column is equal to marketing, that is cell C3, comma, if empty. In that case, return a blank string, double quote, double quote, close the filter function, hit enter on the keyboard. So you have these rows from the array which are uh, related to marketing department. Instead of entering these values for the array and department, you can define some parameters here. You can use the let function. You can define a parameter named array or you can name it your array. Remember that in let function you have these combinations or pairs, a name and a value for that name. You define a variable name and a value for associated with that variable name. So you define the array as a name of a variable. Now the value for this variable will be this data here, comma, Second is department. You simply write a name department DEPT, comma a value for this variable. It will be this range here, the name of departments, then comma. Then again, you will use the filter function as usual. But here, instead of writing A3 through E12, you will write the name of the variable which you have already defined in the let function that is array and also notice here in the drop down the array this variable is noticeable in the intelligence drop down menu as you can see for other these functions you have f of x that means those are functions but this array here has only x icon here that means it's a variable then again instead of typing c3 through c12 here you will write the name of the variable to which you have assigned this range c3 through c12 that is dept again it appears in the intelligence drop down here hit enter on the keyboard we found a typo error in our formula and tried to correct it too so we had to uh, use double parenthesis and at the end because there were two functions the filter function at the let function so we'll click on yes here so again the value the result is the same now someone may ask why he needs to use the let function when he can do the same thing using the filter function the point is that by using the let function you can streamline your formulas 
whenever you have a repetition of some calculations or some references in that case you can use the let function and then if there is any change in those references or those calculations you can make that change at a single place at the time of defining the variable name and the value for that name and those changes will be reflected throughout your formula in this case we have only a single repetition of a formula the array is used only once in the filter function but in some instances a reference to the array will be used multiple times it may be used 10 times 20 times so there are those cases real world cases when you have to use a particular array n number of times a particular reference or a calculation n number of times in that case the let function comes very handy now an extra tip here here in the filter function you have a parameter that is include for include parameter you have written this argument department equal to c3 instead of giving a cell reference here you can directly enter the text string that is department equal to marketing keep it in double quotes because it's a text string hit enter on the keyboard and it should return the same values hit enter on the keyboard but in this case it returns a blank text string what's the reason the reason is here notice here that for the department column you have these department names wherein you have these space characters at the beginning of these values here so what is the solution the solution is simple at the time of variable definition in the let function we have defined this variable name and department and the value for it was c3 through c12 here we need to make a correction we can wrap this value c3 to c12 in the trim function to remove unwanted space characters assume that in the filter function you had 10 references for this c3 through c12 you didn't use the let function you directly use the use the filter function and you had 10 references to this range here in that case you need to make corrections at 10 places but here using the let function you can make the correction at a single place here the values will be adjusted accordingly in the filter function whenever you reference that variable so let me hit enter on the keyboard so here it is so this is how the filter function can save a lot of your time by avoiding repeated calculations and it may also give your formula a proper meaning like here you have defined these variables array department filter array by department equal marketing so your formula gets a proper meaning with the help of let function now let's take a look at another example here i have different subdivisions of a company and i have profit figures for each subdivision the task here is to calculate the sales tax if the profit total profit for the entire company is greater than 20 lakh in that case the sales tax is 10 percent else the sales tax is 5 percent of to total profit we can use the if function to calculate the sales ta tax if the logical test is sum of these profit figures is greater than or equal to 20 lakh in that case the sales tax should be 10 percent that means 0.1 multiplied by sum of these figures profit figures else the sales tax should be 5 percent that means 0 0.05 multiplied by sum of these profit figures close parenthesis hit enter so here is the sales tax 272000 but notice one important thing here in the if function you have these references b3 to b10 repeated three times here here and here so this is an apt case where you can use the let function so let us simply use the let function for simplicity we will bring the if function in another row bring the cursor before the if function then press alt and enter on the keyboard to bring this entire function in the next row then here we will use the let function we will name this variable as total sales and the value for this variable will be sum of these profit figures here that is this range b3 through b10 then will be our calculation here instead of these references we, we can simply write if total sales is greater than or equal to 2 lakh in that case the sales tax will be 10 percent of total sales else sales tax will be 5 percent of total sales 
close the if function then close the let function press enter on the keyboard so here we have the same result the benefit of using the let function instead of directly using the if function is that if at a future date you add more subdivisions to your company in that case you just need to adjust this variable definition here instead of the reference sum b3 through b10 you will write sum b3 through b15 hit enter on the keyboard and the entire formula will adjust accordingly had you used the if function directly in that case you had to update this reference at three places because the if function takes this reference at three places but with the help of let you need to make a single adjustment a single correction while the let function in excel can be a powerful tool for simplifying and improving the clarity of your formulas there are some precautions and best practices to keep in mind to ensure effective use firstly about variable names choose meaningful and distinct variable names descriptive names help you and others understand the purpose of each variable within your formula avoid using reserved words or cell references as variable names another thing is about variable scope variables defined within the let function are scoped only within that specific formula they cannot be referenced outside of the let function ensure that you define variables for the parts of the formula where you intend to use them the let function does have some limitations and one of them is that the variable assignments must come before any calculations this limitation can make it challenging to directly use the let function for certain tasks so that was about the let function i hope this video was helpful if you like the video please give it a thumbs up keep supporting subscribe the channel Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.